Um, two things. Um, uh, first, um, uh, Neil outlined earlier on stimulus. Um, those are the dollars that flow directly to transit properties uh, by formula that we've been talking to you about and, and all. Uh, you should just be aware, though, that there are two other um, uh, programs that were authorized under the uh, ARRA, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, um, that are stimulus-like. Uh, they are discretionary uh, programs that you make application for. We will be making application under both the energy efficiency uh, 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 program, where we're really looking at how do you, uh, how do you uh, save energy, uh, uh, reduce costs, and, and other things. That's under the so-called TEGER program. Uh, there's $100 million nationwide uh, that is competitive. We will be making applications, or may, have made applications under that program. Second um, is the TIGER program, different than TIGER, TIGER. Um, that's $1.5 billion, billion nationwide. Um, and it was really a, an effort to be able to, uh, to address infrastructure in a broader context. Um, we think there are some real opportunities around some of the Port of Milwaukee uh, uh, project uh, elements that we might be able to, to make application for. Uh, and so just so you know that there are more things than just the stimulus that we will be applying for. No insurance we will be awarded, but if we do, obviously we'll, we'll be keeping you apprised. Uh, secondly, um, this is really a preview because uh, in the regular board meeting in two weeks from uh, today, uh, we'll be going through in a much clearer uh, and uh, more complete sense kind of where we are budget-wise. But I do want to give you an initial read about where we are, uh, uh, as we have indicated to you, as we've indicated to the public, uh, that we wanted to be able to see um, actual payroll tax revenues that uh, 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 have been uh, actually paid. Um, that really uh, lags the quarter in which those uh, uh, those obligations are incurred by about a month and a half. And so as we look at mid-May for the first uh, calendar quarter of the year, um, we uh, see what is in the numbers of unemployment and everything else that is in, in, in continuing uh, decrease in uh, payroll tax revenue. We're right now in the process of, uh, of looking at uh, 12 of our different uh, bus lines uh, uh, and seeing whether or not we can make some small adjustments. And, and in this case, really talking about uh, generally in the range of two minutes, uh, maybe up to a total of uh, up five minutes on uh, some weekend uh, uh, service, um, where service would remain, um, but might be just a little more stretched out. Uh, uh, on our frequent service lines, uh, even though those are very small adjustments because so many buses run, that actually can save us uh, uh, additional dollars. Just so you have the rough idea of the dollars, uh, uh, we are down about just about $31 million uh, in uh, overall in budget. That's about a, a equivalent of 9% across the board uh, budget. Um, we have uh, taken steps and in the 2010 budget uh, reflect that 9%. We've been able to use uh, $7.25 million of stimulus to be able to offset not the across the board cuts, but in the direct delivery of service, we've been able to uh, use 7.25 million of stimulus dollars so that uh, that 9% didn't have to be against uh, service. As we are looking at uh, the picture, and as I will be giving you in much more detail in two weeks, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, how to be able to close that gap on the um, uh, uh, on the service side. Those would be actions that would be taken in relationship to our sign up in December. Uh, that is when we actually do a change over in some of our service delivery. Uh, we are um, hoping that they will be, um, as I said, uh, very small changes, but it is on our very heavily used lawn, so uh, it uh, uh, is still a significant issue. Um, I would uh, uh, lastly uh, just emphasize that uh, some on the board have uh, suggested we ought to explore at least the use of a of a, uh, of a fair increase. Uh, um, that will be something that uh, we will want to be able to discuss more. Um, there's also been discussion about whether or not fareless square being restricted just to the rail side um, would also save some additional dollars. Um, this isn't a all one thing or another. It's really a mix and a match uh, kind of approach. But we'll be talking to you much more about that uh, in two weeks from now. With that, we have to answer any questions. About uh, three weeks ago in Times Square in New York, uh, they implemented a, a change there, an individual known to us who was visited us uh, from time to time, the commissioner of, of uh, those uh, parts of uh, the infrastructure of New York City. And um, we 
which, uh, which uh, disallows automobile traffic right. through Times Square. Uh, I happened to be back on the East Coast that morning. I was watching a nationally broadcast show in Portland, procedure, along with Denver and New York. And it was an hour-long segment. It was an incredible piece and one that I've since talked to the general manager about. He tells me he does have a copy of that release. But as, as one board member of an agency for the, more than the last decade, we feel very proud that we've made a number of choices that uh, as revealed through the comparisons between Denver and Portland, who almost made exactly the opposite choices in how to handle traffic and flow and congestion and growth. Uh, it was a pretty good deal. Portland, our, our PBS uh, public broadcasting uh, services, the PBS series, have looked at a whole series of different uh, uh, places on transportation around the world. Uh, London, Paris, uh, actually it looked even that series didn't look at some food uh, safety issues, uh, uh, local production. But the segment that's on the, that has Portland and uh, New York features is, uh, uh, is very nice. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you.